So the EAA Reservoir, or the Everglades Agricultural Area Reservoir, can be broken down into three steps. First, it receives water from Lake Okeechobee, excess water that would otherwise be dumped to Florida's east and west coast. Secondly, it has a stormwater treatment area, a treatment wetland that removes the pollution, primarily phosphorus, from that water so that we're third, sending that clean water south to the Everglades where it belongs. And then that cycle is repeated by taking more water from the lake again so that we can treat it and send it south. The Everglades Agricultural Area Reservoir is a massive project. The footprint alone is 17,000 acres. You could fit the island of Manhattan inside that footprint. A 6,500 acre stormwater treatment area adjacent to a 10,000 acre footprint reservoir. This is a massive project that will allow us to send 120 billion gallons more of clean, fresh water south to the Everglades, ultimately to Everglades National Park. This is an incredibly important Everglades restoration project. The EAA Reservoir has really three important functions. One is it reduces the amount of pollution going to Florida's east and west coast. Pollution that can fuel toxic blue-green algae or even exacerbate red tide. By storing, cleaning, and sending that water south to the Everglades and ultimately to Florida Bay, we're improving habitat conditions throughout the ecosystem. And thirdly, we benefit economically because that's South Florida's water supply that improves real estate values and also improves water-based recreation that our tourism economy depends on.